Hey, what's happening guys? Today we've got a couple of very similar uh, projects here from our good friend Dr. Quincy deep in the heart of Texas. And uh, these are his flashlight projects. They're pretty cool. And we are going to take a look at them right now. So both the models here are pretty much the same, except this one here is using uh, debounced switches, hardware switches, to control the brightness. And this one is using a rotary encoder. We're going to take a look at them both. They are using the uh, MP3120 boost converter to bump up the power from either one or two AA batteries if you're running two of them they're in parallel and you can see it's very modular it fits together quite nicely uh, the doc says these will run down to 0.8 volts and he uses uh, dead batteries from his son's toys to power them now that's on there, and what you are seeing is the PWM Ripple. He's using the internal oscillator of the AT Tiny 841 chip, which is running at about 60.1 hertz. So you can actually see that there in the camera. Now if I increase the brightness, will we still be able to see it? Yeah, absolutely. Now you absolutely cannot see any ripple with your eye when you're looking at these but looking at through the camera you certainly can could you fix that sure you could increase the uh, PWM frequency but like I said to the eye you can't notice it and if you did increase the PWM frequency you would need to add more parts because uh, the good doctor here is just using the internal oscillator chip so oscillator on that AT tiny all right, let's take a look at the uh, the boost circuit here. Hey, I thought we could take a, a quick look at the boost circuit here for this uh, MP3120. And uh, if you look over here, in this area, you can actually see the circuit. I took a picture of it so we can have a look at it there. So yeah, here here is our chip right here in the middle, and it starts with the on-off switch going into pin four. Then we have our input here into pin six, our output over here into pin five, and a feedback circuit over here on pin three. You know, we can skip the ground and all that. But if you take a look down here at the whoops, 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 come back take a look down here at the circuit you know you can see that uh, Quincy's done a great job of duplicating what they show here which is what they want you to do when you're using their IC so you stick with something like this do what they show you in the data sheets and you're pretty much guaranteed that you're gonna have a great working product okay now we're gonna take a look at the power consumption of the flashlight and we're gonna use a desktop power supply here you can see I have it set for 1.5 volts and we've got a meter here that is set up to run as an amp meter why is it so dark well so you can see that screen because it's not that bright on the camera alright so let's get it hooked up we're going to take the positive out of the power supply and connect it to the positive of the meter then the negative of the meter becomes our positive to the battery and the negative from the power supply then goes back to the power supply and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit reset which will take this down to its lowest point you can see the lights are still on and if we come up here we can look at the meter <coughs> And see we are at about 
60 milliamps. Then as we increase it, 65, 69, take it up, uh oh, there we go, had some sort of a power issue there, there we go, we're cranking her up, why are we having an issue? Looks like it's on this. Hmm. Apparently, I just need a better place to get some power to it. That'll be better. Okay. Yep, we're up to 70, 81, 101. We'll crank it all the way up. 304, 305, 304, 305. So that's our maximum. About 304 milliamps at 1.5 volt. Make sure that, yeah, we're not limiting that in any way. <clears throat> so that's looking pretty good. We'll work to 310. As this uh, heats up, it's a little temperature dependent there. I feel a little bit of heat off the LEDs. The AT Tiny is absolutely cool. As is the boost circuitry. And everything else. Neat. It's a nice little reset button here. Takes it all the way back down. And you can see we end up back at about 60 milliamps. Okay, so now we're going to look at the switching frequency on the oscilloscope. Okay, it should be about 60, uh, right about 60 hertz. So we'll get our we'll get our probes out here, hook our ground onto the ground from the power supply. And try the collector that output. Yep. All right. Let me uh, put this on the scope screen so that you can see it. So there's our light. You can see it's functioning. And I'm going to grab right there on the collector of that output transistor. And I'm going to hit auto just so we can get a better picture. There we go. So we're looking at 500 millivolts per division. I'm seeing one, two and a half divisions. So that's one and a half volts we're seeing there on that output. And we are at the lowest, as you can see here barely on and it's interesting because the PWM which as you look down here you can see is at 61 Hertz is being driven almost completely on now I'm going to increase the power to the light let me bring this up here so you can see it Now look at that. It has switched directions. Let me see if I can get a better bite on this somewhere. A little bit difficult holding it like that. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to see if I can't grab one of these LED outputs here. Boom. There we go. Auto. Okay. That's a little bit better. Let 
You guys should be able to see that better. Okay, you can see the reflection of the light there in the screen. Now, if I can actuate the button, you see the light getting brighter, and you see our PWM switching in the opposite direction. So we've got some sort of an inversion going on there. Watch, I'm going to hit the reset button here. There we have it almost fully on. And then as I increase the power, we're going down there fully off. Interesting. Let's see where we are at about a 50%. That's pretty close. And you can see again the reflection. Very interesting. So, Doc, tell us why do we have an inverted uh, output there on your PWM? I am intrigued. Well, I tell you, I really like these designs. Um, sure, if you guys ask nicely, uh, Quincy will put them up online for you. Somewhere that you can get a hold of them and uh, check them out. Now, he has asked me if I would be willing to do some testing for him on uh, run times for max and uh, minimum brightness. Of course I am. Glad to help him out. So I'm going to run those tests over the next day or so. Fresh set of batteries and whatnot. And uh, the resulting video will be available on Patreon. If you are uh, not a patron, take this as an opportunity to join. A buck a month will give you uh, access to uh, some interesting stuff. I don't, you know, I don't promise the world, but uh, get you some interesting stuff. And plus, I am always available for my patrons. Any questions they have, willing to help them out with any product projects. So, Doc, thank you again so much for sending these in. I'm sure the uh, viewers interested in seeing your designs. I like them. You're becoming quite a good PC and uh, electronics designer. So keep going. Be interested to see what you can come up with next. If you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the Patreon, all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys watching. Big thanks to uh, Dr. Quincy for sharing his projects with us. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you for all your support, everyone. 2020, I'm hoping, is going to be a great year for us. Everyone who's supported through Patreon and through PayPal donations is fantastic. Um, everybody who's bought something from the Amazon store, that's what keeps this channel going. I couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, you are a part of the team. Hey, feel free to email me, arduino0169 at gmail.com. I try and get back to just about everybody.